Good morning friends. Today I am going to show you how to properly calibrate an eddy current machine with a Surface Pro. Now the Surface Pro, Surface Pro's that I am using here is a 550 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz range Surface Pro's. The OEM is Olympus. I am using an Olympus Nortec 600D. Here it is written over here, Olympus Nortec 600 machine. I am going to calibrate the machine with respect to the surface indications. Now for that only. I have chosen the frequency of 500 kilohertz, and uh, and I am going to show you how to properly calibrate an eddy current machine for the surface detection with the, with the surface surface probe or pencil probes. For that, what I have to do? Now I have to first I am I am showing you from the beginning. Go to this advanced setup button. Go to the application setting. Now this this. Uh, This menu will appear when we when we first when we when you first switch on the machine. The surface crack, bold dull, subsurface cracks, weld and wheel, dual frequency. So I am choosing the surface cracks options. Now I am pressing this right button. Now I am entering into this impedance plane settings. Now this is the impedance plane uh, of a normal of a of a normal eddy current uh, um, testing setup. Now I am going to this. Main up uh, uh, main uh, uh, button. Now the frequency of choosing is 500 kilo ohm, and the gain is horizontal gain is 60 and vertical gain is 60. I am just reducing a little bit gain so that this is my frequency, and I am going just pressing this gain button. I am if I am reducing this frequency, both frequency are being reduced in a equal manner. I am keeping the frequency into 55 dB. Okay. And I am pressing this null button again. Now you can see this null button is appearing in the middle of the screen. I am going to this display about uh, menu. Here the position is custom. You can go to this position channel where the, uh, um, the default menu is in the custom position that is in the center of uh, the custom that you can uh, choose by yourself. If you press this button and if you choose two three options like top center. This is top center. This is bottom center. This is bottom right. This is center. Again, this is bottom right. Bottom center. This bottom center menu I am choosing for the calibration purpose for surface cracks only. Surface uh, calibrations only. Now, after setting this null button to the bottom center to position, bottom center position, I am pressing this null button again. Now my cursor is now appearing in the bottom center position. I am. Now the uh, the uh, the defect standard I am using is an aluminium uh, um, surface nose standard. You can see different uh, depths kinds of you know 0.5 mm, 1 mm, and 2 mm of depths. Um, this is an workout radium uh, surface notches are being engraved over here. I am I am just uh, I am I am trying to get the null signal by touching the probe on the on the On the calibration standard. Now I am touching the probe over here. Now I am getting indications over here. This is the lift off. You can see the lift off. This is the lift off. This is the lift off. This is the lift off. Uh, being the lift off graph being appeared now in the impedance plane. What I will do? I will freeze this graph and I will change the angle. I will go to the main and I will change the angle. So that my graph will now appear in this plane. This is being only used for this calibration purpose. Okay. Now again, I will now uh, unfreeze this button. Again, if I freeze the bottom one second, it will become unfreeze. Now I am again pressing this null button, and I am getting this. I am I am I am touching the probe on the surface standard. Now you can see I am getting a lift up signal over here. This is my lift up signal. What I will do now? I will touch the probe on the surface standard, and I will press the null button. You can see, I am touching the probe, and I am pressing the null button. Now the uh, cursor is being appeared in the middle portion. I will just long press this null button. A beep sound will appear. I will again, you know, lift the probe. On the uh, from from uh, from uh, from the defect standard and 
this graph this lift off should go in this direction in a horizontal manner i am doing it for you once again i am pressing this null button i am getting a null signal again i am putting this null button now this graph should appear in a straight line so this is the particular calibration signal that should appear after lifting the probe from this surface standard i am doing it once again for you and this is the uh, uh, um, i i will get you this uh, lift off curve i am pressing the null button again again i am pressing the null button you see the beep sound and again i am lifting the probe and you will have a lift off signal in the horizontal manner to the left side of the screen this is how this is the proper calibration signal that you should you should get when you set a surface standard surface surface crack standard thank you and keep subscribing my channel obinas engineering services for more informative videos on eddy current entity thank you sir thank you once again